Good morning, good morning, everybody. This is the infamous Ghost Guru. Boy, oh boy, do you guys see all this red out here? Good, like we on crypto bubbles. Y'all remember how I did it with the last video? Cryptobubbles.net shows you everything that's going on. Look at all this red. Oh my God. Hey, it's time. If you haven't taken profits yet, what's wrong with you? It's, this is the time to take profits. Look at all this red. The only thing, what is that? Leo. Leo. What's that? BTT? What is this? Yeah, BitTorrent. Yeah. Leo, BitTorrent. MOB near man, it's only a couple things out here that's red. I mean that's green. Everything is red. Oh my god. This is this is this week. Let's go for the last day. Let's go to the day. Let's see what's happening for the last day. Last day IOTX is green. It's up 16%. XYM is up 14.8%. QNT is up 7.8%. Everything else is in the brown area. Everything else is brown, brown, brown. Ugh, that's not looking good. Hex is up 3%. You remember you guys, I told you about uh, the crypto bubbles. Let's say, for instance, we click on. Uh, excuse me, that. Woo! XYM. XYM. It's on Qcoin network. Type symbol on Qcoin. So this is a Qcoin uh, network coin. So it's called. It's symbol is XYM. So you can check it out. So this is how you go about trying to find some plays in a bear market. You got QNT. QNT is also on Qcoin. Do I have this set? What I got this set on? Yeah. Oh, okay. It got top 100. So let's say. Let's say. Let's go by Binance. Let's go by Binance. See how it changes over? So there we go. We get the top coins on Binance. Damn, that's not Lazio. That's down 19%. Whatever that is, I don't even know what that is. So we got Flux, IOFTX, Badger, Nulls is up 35%. This is up 62%. Pundi X, 11%. Dust, 15%. What is Flux? And see, look, the best thing about this site, you guys, watch this. I can click on that, right? And I get the the details of that particular symbol symbol but then i can go here coin market cap and market coin market cap can hold me right in on it. and to, as you can see this is on ethereum this is called flux 2004 cent here's the chart for it right here had a big spike and then it came down on that you can zoom that out right now is up it's up 69 percent so you don't want to buy that right now this thing was all the way down where was the lowest oh it was down here down 23 cent for a while and then it started spiking up yeah so this had a big influx right here historical day you can see the markets right here the markets on qcoin by then oh it's on pancake swap too so you can get it on pancake swap so there you go you can buy it right there pancake swap but uh you know, I wouldn't buy it right now. I definitely would not buy it right now. Come out of that. I don't see too much of it. Everything else is either brown or red. So everything's kind of holding market cap plus the week. This is by the day. We can even go by the hour. Let's see what's happening by the hour. So things are making move on Binance Chain by the hour. Things are up, but they are like 1%, 2%. Nothing, nothing major there. Uh, so that's Crypto Bubbles, you guys. Make sure you guys check that out. CryptoBubbles.net. Let's get into it. Right now, we see Bitcoin is at $48,000. It's right now in the last 24 hours. It's up 1%. Ethereum is uh, just hitting back over 4000 I do remember Ethereum dropped below 4000 for a minute. Binance Chain. I mean, Binance Coin is 569 that thing is still up, but it's down a little bit, 0.2%. Uh, Solano is down 3%, 173. Cardano down 3%, 127. Uh, see, Polka Dot is at 2643, down 2.9%. Doe Shiba Inu down just a little bit, 0.1, negative 1%. Let's go over here and see what's happening in the news. I'm going to go over one site for you guys today. 
That way I'm gonna get this thing banging. I'm not gonna even say I'm not gonna even say, oh I'm gonna be doing that now. I you know, I, I got a lot of things going on. I'm gonna get them videos out to you. And you know, but I ain't gonna make no promises. Let's see. Coinbase offers a DeFi yield product to users in seventy countries. Let's see what let's see what Coinbase talking about. In a bid to make decentralized finance more accessible to its customers, major US crypto exchange, Coinbase says it's enabling users in 70 countries to buy DeFi year product using their DAI crypto holdings, DAI stable coin. So basically what it's saying, which countries? I, I just need to know the countries. Uh, UK, Germany, Spain, but not in the, not the US. See, that's all I need to, that's all I need to hear. So, so you know now which countries you want to be in. <laughs> UK, Germany, and Spain. Okay, all right, I got you, I got you. So that's that. Not in the U.S. Let's go here. Decentralized. See, uh, Badger Dow appears to have lost over USD 100 million in an attack. 100. They lost 120 million dollars. Badger Dow got hacked. <clears throat> Badger Dow, a decentralized autonomous organization that enables Bitcoin to be used as collateral against decentralized finance DeFi application, has followed the victim to an exploit. Hundred and twenty million dollars. Woo, boy! And you know what? We're gonna make this. Uh, yeah, yeah. This is gonna be my thumbnail. Yeah, let me, let me, let me. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be my thumbnail. Ooh, yeah. I like that. Ooh, yeah. It's gonna make that the thumbnail. So that's that. Forensic. Uh, so they they doing the investigation into it to see what happened. Oh man, it's crazy. All right, let's go. See, this site right here is CryptoNews.com. CryptoNews.com. Let's go around here to uh, let's see let's, let's see what's happening with uh, Ethereum. <clears throat> Polygon makes USD 400 million bet on Ethereum scaling. Pepsi goes NFT. Pepsi goes NFT and more news. Bitcoin and Ethereum struggling their resistance. Uh, that's all. Right. Nothing else really going on with that. What's the major news up here? Uh, Bitcoin news. Let's see what Bitcoin news talking about. Profitability, Bitcoin mining, Ripple's camp attacks Bitcoin mining with the stupidest idea again. Bitcoin fluctuates as U.S. inflation reaches its highest. In, damn! U.S. inflation is at its highest since 1982. Crypto regulation should be global, not national. <clears throat> so that's what's going on there. Let me see what else is new. News. Press releases, uh, NFT. So ain't too much going on out there, you guys. Ain't nothing too much going on. Just a whole bunch of red top 100 all together. All the exchanges top 100 in the last hour. But we usually do by day. Right here, performance. Bubble size is by performance, the bubble content, and the bubble color. So... You want to get you some IOST, IOTS. That's bumping. It's only, what, 14, what's is that now? 0.13 cent? Oh, yeah, we might get that. Is that on Binance? Do they have a Binance version of this? Let me see, let me see. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, it is right here. Binance. Ethereum. So they got a Binance version of this. So I'm going to get me some IO. Where is that? Is it? Did a Binance? Oh, yeah, Pancake Swap. Here it is right here. Okay. Yeah. Yes, sir. I'm about to get me some of that. Oh, yeah, IOTS on the Binance Smart Chain, you guys. Oh, yeah, we about to do that. All right, you guys, that's about it for today. Let me show you guys my lovely face. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Oh, oh, oh yeah, I'm going to just leave it like that. Hey, look, thank you guys for watching the video. I know it's been a long time since I made a little update, but y'all keep up to date. Things are going down. If you haven't sold, if you haven't taken profits, I suggest you take some profits or you put it into stablecoin. This is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, as you read. But hey, see y'all in the next one. Peace! Yeah.